Read me a page, Kostya. No, I don't, I don't know if you will like it. Yes, I will. No, my stories are badly received. My books don't sell. People say that my stories are incomprehensible. Read me something, Kostya. Now my life serves only for this. To understand you. Today I left my house, I left my village. I left my past to begin my dream, to begin the voyage of my dreams. Or perhaps I am still in my house and I only dream of leaving it long last. But no, here are my parents, my sisters, and my brother who bid me farewell and are still waving their handkerchiefs as I move off. Am I truly moving away or are they merely becoming blurred in a dream we are all sharing? I don't know, still I am walking. I feel that I walk, I walk as if in a dream, in a thick fog, but I walk. The exhaustion I feel is real, which proves I am not dreaming. Still, perhaps some dreams, especially those that turn into nightmares, make one feel the same exhaustion. We are overcome with fatigue without lifting a finger. Now I am far away, far away from everything, which means I have been walking three days. It was my dream to leave home, but strangely the further I move away, the more it seems that I am on my way back. Am I distancing myself or am I returning home? Or am I going in a circle? Am I only making wider and wider circles and then narrower and narrower ones around my home? This place I hate most in the world that I perpetually carry in my heart and never leaves me. How do you get away from a spot that you carry unceasingly inside you? How do you get away from this center of the world which is yourself? When the whole voyage is a circle, how do you escape from the point you are circling? You write for the philosophers, Kostya. You don't write for the people of today. You write for a world which is not yet born. Well, be that as it may, I, I write what I feel. Your words frighten me, but at the same time, I feel that I see myself in your words. What time is it? It's three o'clock in the morning. 